Now that you have a basic understanding of the blog post recipe, it's time for the rubber to hit the road. It's time for you to log into the back end of WordPress and write, start writing your first post. And don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process step by step so that by the time you're done with these training videos, you're actually going to have a completed blog post. So go into WordPress. If you don't remember how to do that, you can either log in through your Bluehost account and click go to WordPress, or you can go to the URL of your website forward slash WP hyphen admin and then enter your username and password there. Once you're into the back end of your website, you're going to go over to the left hand menu. Go to the point where you see posts, hover over posts, and click add new. This is how you're going to add new posts every single time. This is something you'll repeat hundreds and hundreds of times. It's going to take you to the WordPress editor. Now you can write your post directly on the back end of your website, which I highly recommend. Some people prefer to write it in a separate document, but if you do it right, you can save so much time by not having to copy and paste everything over and reformat it once it's time to publish. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to add your title, like we mentioned in the blog post recipe. You should be able to copy and paste your blog post title into the editor and it should be perfect, exactly how you want it. The next thing you're going to do is start adding your uh, words. Whatever you're going to say there, you know, you have your tee up, you have your answer target, you have your read on section, that you have your subheadings. All of those things can be done here in this editor. And the way that you can change those things or change the type of um, font or whether it's paragraph or heading style, I'm going to show you right now. So for your tee up portion, that's just regular paragraph text. So you see you have your title here and it says start writing or type something to choose a block. So I'm just going to click right over that text. And if I start typing, it's giving me normal paragraph text, which is what I want. Then um, my next paragraph is just my answer target. And you can remember the specifications of the answer target by looking at the post recipe. After my answer target, I have my read on portion, which is still paragraph text. And then after that, I have my first subheading. Now my subheading, as it says on the blog post recipe should be an H2. So the way I'm going to do that and change my font to H2 is I'm going to go right where my cursor is and you're going to see the plus appear. Click on the plus and you're going to type in, you're gonna search for a block, type in H and it will show heading. And then it will give you a heading and you can see here that it is an H2. Now you can change those to different sizes, but the heading should always be H2. So now that I have H2, I'm gonna type my heading in. After that, I wanna go back to paragraph text because I'm ready to start writing the meat of my article. So I just tab down and that's going to give me the paragraph text. Then I'm gonna tab down again when I'm ready to do my next subheading and then I can click the plus, and then heading this time shows up, I'm now on a H2, gives me my heading. This is how you're going to write your blog post. You're gonna do it over and over again, so just get familiar with this block editor is what it's called. Now if I want to add an image, then I can hover over my cursor, click the plus, and I can type I for image, and there's going to be an image block. It gives me the option to upload, select an image, or to insert from a URL. So wherever your images are, if they're on your computer, you can upload one. If you want to select one from your media library, you can select that here. Or if you have a URL, an image from URL, you can do that there. So let's select an image. And there it is in my post. There's a ton of different blocks that you can learn how to use. Um, there are so many. You can click browse all if you want to see them. It'll open up on the left hand side. You can add lists, you can add quotes, you can add code if you want to embed something. Um, there are so many different things. There are tables, there are image comparison blocks. As you get more and more comfortable using WordPress, you're going to be able to use these functions. After your post is completed, you need to always click save draft. As you work on your post, be clicking save draft and then you can preview it in the front end. So you can click preview. You want to see as desk desktop, it will open a new tab and it will show you what your blog post looks like. It may take a little bit to load like it is now. 
and then you can see here that I have my blog, my beautiful blog post. So go back to your post, and then as soon as you're ready to publish, you'll click publish, and your first article will be ready to go. All right, let's move on to the next step.